Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are in Berlin, Berlin, Germany. I can't even say after 400 times. Talking to Vadim from Stankovicius Guitars in Lithuania. Yeah. Cool. Welcome. This is your first Holy Grail guitar show? Yeah, sure. This is my first Holy Grail show. I'm really excited about that. Cool. So we had a long drive to bring... Did you bring just two guitars no, to I the have, show? You have, have four guitars. Yeah, actually I have also six string bass and also like a nylon crossover guitar. So all four are absolutely different. Cool. So here you've got a gypsy jazz style. Do you want to tell us about it? Um, yeah, this is kind of, uh, I would say, my one of the best creation so far because I try to um, create something uh, in traditions of gypsy jazz, but still make it in a modern like concept. So changing the shape of the headstock, like adding extra of extra frets, making this arm bevel actually really really nice and comfortable. Yeah, also very untraditional mustache and and the bridge. Yeah, so. So spruce top, right? Yeah, yeah, it's spruce top. It's Paul Ferro back and sides and Swenge uh, bindings. So and ebony, ebony fingerboard. So that's absolutely a serious free guitar. It is also really cool for traveling musicians. Wow, it's beautiful. Um, and this is interesting. Is this more of a signature for your brand, or is this functional as well to increase? the enjoyment for the player. Yeah, yeah. actually uh, the idea of soundport is really nice because it gives you some kind of monitor. You hear yourself better in a loud gypsy, gypsy jazz uh, jam sessions because there are a lot of people playing so you can hear yourself better. And the outline is some kind of like, why not to do this way? So I try to do this one and also I made the same idea on the, on the fingerboard. So now, is that like a company logo thing, or it's just for this guitar? Yeah, it's particular, I don't know, symbol for that guitar. The logo sort of a logo stylized yin-yang? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, some kind of. Also, you can see the S outline. Maybe it's also something like okay. <laughs> with my surname. Yeah. Do you want to play us a little more on that, and then we'll take a look at your other guitar? Okay, sure. Okay. Let's try a bit. <laughs> All right, so this next piece is literally a museum piece, right? Not just figuratively, like, oh, that's beautiful. It's beautiful, but you did this project for a museum, is that right? Uh, no, actually, it's 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 real project for, for real musicians. So we have, um, also in our country, we have Amber Quartet. So the two violins, the cello, and... Um, and alt would actually playing with amber, amber of like string instruments, string violins, uh, all they covered with amber. Oh. So this is kind of side projects to make the amber guitar. Also, it's not the first one. The first one was black. So this is one opposite is, is white. Okay. I'm okay. well, sorry. I misinterpreted, misunderstood something you said before we started the video, but it could be in a museum. That's for sure. It's, it's, it's really cool looking. So tell us the story about it that you were, you're kind of telling, telling me about it a little bit before we started filming. You started off with an existing guitar, but then kind of stripped away most of it? Uh, yeah, yeah. We found kind of uh, a body for the guitar and, and the neck. So we just tried to save the outline, the design of it. Then we just moved everything off and then we reinforced. We prepared the wood to hold all that amber because it's kind of two millimeters of amber, real white amber covered all over the top, the back, the side, the neck, the headstock. Um, yeah you want to grab it and flip it around so people can see the back and now okay so you it's was it like a really old guitar that you started with yeah yeah this is actually like how old very old i think it's from 60s something like that okay. it's very old i think hofner or something like okay. that and so you took off the top pretty much the only thing from the original guitar that's left underneath yeah, yeah. the the amber is the sides and the neck but you replace the fretboard yeah, yeah sure it's absolutely new fingerboard because yeah it's not even possible to do a good job with the old one so it's absolutely absolutely new so with all that like inlays 
Um, also the pigard. Actually, this is a real gold. It's a five microns of, of, wow. of real gold here. Yeah, it's not polished, but it's like plate. <laughs> <laughs> so also the Bigsby, Waverly tuners, so, and Benedetto single coil pickup, which is absolutely amazing. Did you reshape the headstock to sort of your own outline or? No, we tried to save it, but it's also a bit of modified because of the amber work because yeah, it become a big, a big, I think wider than it was before. Yeah, just a bit. Do you want to plug it in and play it for us? Yeah, sure. Let's okay. Nice feedback at the end. I was like rocking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Vadim, do you want to tell people where to go online to check out your website? Yeah, just simple Stan Cavichus Guitar. Okay, it will be difficult. Stan Cavichus Guitars.com. Like nothing, nothing special. So, yeah, I have Instagram channel, Facebook page. So, just you can find me like uh, on Manush Luthier's site. So, yeah, it's not that difficult. Cool. Thanks for joining us, Vadim. Thanks for joining us, guys. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com.